Hey guys, this is Mouse Whispers and um, today I will be showing you my city. I live in Latvia and um, Latvia is located in the Eastern Europe. It's one of the three uh, Baltic states. And I live in its capital, which is Riga. So, I've got two books. One of them is um, A Guide to Architecture of Art Nouveau Metropolis. Um, and the second one is um, Riga in Details. In this video, I will be speaking softly and um, I will be <laughs> drinking my freshly squeezed juice that says here apple, pear and raspberry, but it is not. juice I made myself and it's um, freshly squeezed from apples, carrots and um, I put some ginger inside since as you can hear maybe my voice is not so, <laughs> so it does not sound as usual I think I've got a cold or something I don't know so trying to get my immune system working properly and uh, with the help of some freshly squeezed juice and it's super delicious you must try so it's apple carrots and uh, some ginger Also, I've got my chamomile tea. I know not a lot of people like chamomile tea, but I'm of this one of these people that actually do like chamomile tea. But put that aside for a bit. And also, I will be crunching on some <laughs> some leftovers of um, my rice cakes it's um, a wet free vegan rice cake and um, first of all they are quite delicious and they go together with like a lot of stuff can put on top like avocados and fruits and vegetables and everything and also the ingredients are just amazing so the ingredients are just 92% uh, of a brown rice and 8% um, of sesame seeds Sesame, I don't know how to call it. So, yeah, and that's what I'll be having. And also, I've got a chewing gum wallet that I will chew a bit later. So, shall we start? Let me get more comfortable here. All right, so uh, let me introduce you to Riga and its architecture. This book is written 
by Jans Krasic. I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but okay, I'll try to edit later on. I really do love my city. I really suggest you to visit if you have chance. So here's an introduction. My eating won't be distracting. Actually, I have to make a confession. I've always hated eating videos, ASMR eating videos. Just for me, it was like super gross. <laughs> Watch people eat and or eat myself, like on camera. But recently I have learned that um, watching this video actually actually became one of my triggers and uh, I really do enjoy watching eating videos now. So I will dare to try to do a bit of eating in this video and I really hope it won't be as destructing alright so here's like um, a brief story of um, of the history of um, in the beginning of um, 20th century in Riga, so basically this is the period of time where mostly of the Art Nouveau buildings were built. The Art Nouveau style in Riga architecture. And if you read Wikipedia, you will find out that Riga is a cultural capital of um, Art Nouveau. Architecture in Europe, and I think worldwide as well. So here's the story, and the story starts with... Uh, the old town, which is uh, the oldest part of uh, of Riga, and this is the apartment house. Commercial art residential building. Apartment house with shops. This is office and commercial buildings. The bank building. This is Nordea. And 
just to see a park and a house or shops and uh, if you look closer to this picture there's actually a cat on the top of this roof and I've got the cover of this book which perfectly shows it uh, more closely later on we're gonna <clears throat> take a look at that this is a department store mm, apartment house with shops This is a um, building of, of the bank. Insurance company. Apartment house with uh, shops. So this is the interior of one of the holes of this uh, building. Building of the bank. Office building. I mean this book is quite big. Oops. I don't know if we're going to... Oops, my setup is kind of moving. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, this book is quite big. And I think I have no patience in <laughs> going through. Um, it's too big. I've got this, like massive problems with uh, concentrating on things. But yeah, basically it's um, just uh, almost all of the building of the central part of the city. Um, by the street, by, by the street names. And there's like a little brief history and a description. All right. So let's put that aside. Alright, and this book is in uh, Latin. I oh, know, actually, it's got three languages. It's in Latin, English, and um, and German. All right, let's have a look. I really like details. I'm always interested in details. So once again, a brief history.
sorry, I'm not really reading that much and uh, <clears throat> just going through. Look at that, so beautiful. This is a mm, window of a uh, of a of a building. It's really beautiful. It's Rococo style. Really pretty. This is neo gothic sculpture. house and here we can see some eclecticism going on <laughs> stock exchange building and this is neo renaissance and this is the university building This is uh, our uh, national opera building and it's really, really beautiful. And the classic forms um, of facade, gable and roof are adorned with allegoric figures of mythological beings. These sculptures have been made in Berlin. This is the Museum of Art. Arts, National Museum of Fine Arts, and uh, it's been recently um, renovated, so it's looking really, really cool now. Again, some allegoric figures and all different kinds of um, um, sculptures in Baroque style. And this man. <laughs> Yeah, it's a wine cellar and a shop. And when I was when I was a child, and uh, we, me and my mom, we was used to pass by this building, and I was always so scared that I will get some water on top of my head. <laughs> so I was about like four years old, I think. And every time I see it now, it brings me lots of memories. So this is a sculpture of a wine pour on top of the stove pediment of the facade of a medieval style building. Apartment buildings. Some more eclecticism. Alright, this is a poor post horse station of a middle 19th century. A house had sorry. A horse head sculpture decoration of the facade of the stable building of post 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 <laughs> horse station. How cool is that? I mean, yeah, I love the architecture of my city, and this is a factory. And this building is also so beautiful. In the niche of main essence shop, a sculpture of Zeus with uh, stickers of lightning in a hand and uh, eagle in feet. It was sculptured by a sculptor Rose. Got some apartment buildings, and this is um, Art Nouveau. And this is like some obvious art novel. This one is a um, architect architecture of this building is a very famous architecture to Eisenstein. That's really pretty apartment buildings. Three atlases supporting the globe 
of the on their shoulders and create the expressive essence. At the point of intersection of the narrow street of Old Riga, the sculptures have been made in Rhodes workshop. Some more of Art Nouveau. <clears throat> this is <clears throat> some eclectic Gothic style building with numerous of um, Art Nouveau elements. This is like very much um, Art Nouveau going on here as well. One of the most famous streets in Riga, Alberta Street. An Art Nouveau building with very expensive sculptural sculpt uh, figures on top of corn cornice. One can see heads of mythical monsters, gargons with snakes instead of hair. And two brave lions guarding the peace of the house. A winged woman figure adorns the entrance. How cool is that? Again, architect is Eisenstein. Or Eisenstein, how you call it? Some more of the Albert Street. And some of these images are horrifying to me. As a kid, I was really afraid of this houses. I love it now. And this is like one of the most most favorite uh, houses um, in Riga. It's on Lajpila Street and the whole the whole building is um it's an art and wall building as well and the the decorations, it's like, it's like the witches and the broomsticks and the bats and like gloomy dog forest and the, wow, I just, I really love it. It's large pleasure, straight 100. So yeah, like a lot of mythology going on. On the street of my city, the central port, mm, the central portal of uh, this building has been made in art and wall shapes with styles, garlands, and musk balls. I hope you guys like it. <laughs> I hope I'm not boring, boring you. But yeah, <clears throat> you should definitely come and see it. Sorry guys, been interrupted, but since it happened, let's just switch to something else. Um, and let, let me have my gum, my chewing gum. They changed the packaging and they used to have like a comics was printed on this inside papers but now they don't print, print stories anymore. Mm. 
this is um, uh, my business English studies. And it's boring as hell. Which has been given in this book, and it's going pretty well for me. But I guess business is not something that I'm very keen on and we're interested in. But still, it's a good practice. And we've got a really, really cool teacher that gives us loads of homeworks. But he's really cool. And some boring, boring topics like marketing and Company structures, da -da -da -da. markets and competitors, presentations in the service sector. That was my business IQ test. I did pretty well. Oh, look, it looks beautiful. The blue lights. Anyway, I'm not gonna bore you with these guys. God, everything is moving. So, I've got like a bunch of. Uh, Geographic um, I think we're gonna pass London because I've seen it all Morocco, California, Japan and Egypt. Let's do the Japan first. Oh no, it's I don't drink alcohol, but <laughs> this commercial is funny as hell. It's a bear who's fishing, and the fox is uh, watching the bear fish. <laughs> it's a commercial of vodka. Here is the eyes of some insect. Some more insects. I'm not really a big insect lover, I must say. Oh, look, there's mice. Oh, so actually, yeah, a rat. It says here that um, mouses are has weird tensions. <laughs> there you go, Japan. As I mentioned already, I started to attend a um, Jiu-Jitsu classes and it's fun.
ketchup my gum, but I catch it. Oh, look at that. I hope he's live. Disgusting. Oh. oh, look at him. How cute is that? I love animals of all kinds. Here's the bat. Wow, look at this bird. This is a Calibri, Calibri, I'm sorry, and uh, recently I have spotted a, a Calibri in, uh, in Riga and I was like shocked. At the first I thought it is, it is a parrot, a little parrot, but when I looked closer it was like a real Calibri. I don't know, maybe just, I don't know, <laughs> because we, obviously we don't have much of a <gasps> This is a possum. How cute is that? He's eating. Oh, so cute. Okay, it's like um, an article about the ocean. uncomfortable okay Morocco I so love pink flamingos they're so funny as well um, cute love Faces, they look like a real <laughs> human faces for real. <laughs> He's funny. Oh, more of more of us. <laughs> Morocco. I've never been to Morocco. Really beautiful fungus. Wow, I think before they still so so beautiful in nature. Yeah, I used to have this in my Facebook as my Facebook cover picture <laughs> ages ago. on with this one, California. Alpine soon. And this place is so beautiful. The air is We should all be really grateful. Fox. 
Bugs babies. So cute. So gorgeous. It's just so gorgeous. Mm. Tons of videos on YouTube with the Phoenix Fox. So funny. Oh, look, it's a Tuxin Shumper. What was the name? Mm, Desert Mouth. Whatever. Something like that. Oh, look. They found each other. And Egypt. The brain. Oh. Oh, oh so cute. Do you, do you actually can see any? Mm. Look at them. At those ears, <laughs> and this little nose, and the tail, and the toes. So cute. Oh. Who's that? Okay, and the last but not the least. London. I was living in Hackney for three years. Mm. I was loving it there. But I don't think I'm really willing to go back. But I really love to <clears throat> take long walks. I very rarely took a public transport. I mainly were just walking to my job from Hutton to Leicester Square by feet almost every day. But now I'm a bit lazy. <laughs> but I cannot wait for the warm time to come. Around, so I can ride my bike and go to the seaside. Professor Kia. So here's a story about some intelligent bird. All right, guys. So, oh, I think I put this um, even called that catalog. I have such a chaos, chaotic video. <laughs> we started off with the. Uh, architecture and we are ended up with 
ending up with this horrible <laughs> brand. sell like everything I love the bows I've got like several shirts with bows I love the dresses. This dude is so weird. myself a pink lipstick but I hate all the glitters and stuff I really like the sound of the even catalogs, catalog pages though. They seem so soft and thin. The design of this all, I've seen it like in a hundred places all over. This reminds me of that.
kids. I think we're done. Um, thanks for watching and I see you very soon. Bye.